managed to pick up some more um, ironing figures. I mean, <coughs> sorry, excuse me. Not posted this channel for a long time. Loads of in real life stuff to deal with and what have you. But recently, I managed to pick up loads of the, of the uh, Ken ironing toys over the last year or so. And to start off with here, I have the Panther Alien. Uh, nicely detailed, very nicely detailed around the jawline. Um, head to transparent plastic. Um, tail's not really very poseable. And the big gimmick with the Panther Alien is this what the uh, uh, box packaging calls uh, detachable kamikaze parasite, which slots in just behind the back of the Panther Alien's head. And quality, I won't do it, but you bring the legs forward, the head bows down, shoots the parasite out. Kind of looks a bit like a face, uh, not face burster, <laughs> uh, chest burster's uh, face on like the back of a wide kind of fin shaped organ. Um, this toy would be redecoed into the Night Cougar Alien, which was redecoed in, which is um, black and red. Then it was redecoed into this very shiny silver for like the uh, two packs, um, where they were packaged with Marines. Uh, that's one thing that did play the Ken Alien's toy line towards the end, loads and loads of toy redecorating to kind of bolster up the figures. But Panther Alien, nice little toy, not too much uh, posability and um, joint maneuverability. And one of my favourites of the line is the Killer Crab Alien with um, launching chest burst and missiles. Don't know how that biologically works. Are the aliens um, infesting and parasitising themselves? Um, Nice toy. Uh, joints, the legs can move, and the two little um, arms at the side can move. And quite actually, press down on the back of the uh, chest burster here, which launches it out the front of the body. Um, nice paint job as well. Nice use of plastic colours and paint jobs. Um, this is the beauty of the Kenner Anings toys. They're really cheap to pick up. I can only see they had a massive production run on these things. Uh, I mean, even carded figures, you can pick up for about $20 each. Not expensive at all. And the piece of resistance, which I'm very chuffed I picked up, is the King Alien. Yeah. Um, now, the King Alien had two gimmicks. He could squirt water out of his mouth. You would put the toy's head and, and squeeze this rubber organ on the back. Then just squeeze it again to spray it out. You can probably see the. I'm not sure if you could see it. This little plastic pot that goes into his mouth. And his other gimmick, he push the switch on his back. These two claws either side of his head swing together. Um, in like a kind of grabbing or clawing motion, and they're just spring loaded. Um, and that's it. Really nice toys. Um, even if you've got a passing interest in the aliens. Uh, franchise, you do very well to pick these up.